All right, hey guys, what's going on? My name is Yasin, and I got my hands on the new Galaxy S20. I've literally just play, been playing around with it for about 15 minutes now, just going through that initial setup. But in this video, I wanna show you guys exactly how I set up my Galaxy S20. Now, after I use it for about a day or two, I will be having initial impressions after the first 48 hours. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you get notified when that video is up. Also, if there's any questions that you guys have about the phone that I can keep an eye on, that I can answer for you guys, let me know in the comment section down below. But let's just jump in right into it and show you guys exactly what I do when I first get a new phone and essentially setting up my Galaxy S20. Okay, so the first thing that I do is that I pull down the notification tray and I look for dark mode. I love dark mode and I just make sure that my phone is dark mode right away. And then after that, I usually go into the settings and play around with the display. So I'll go into the display and I'm going to turn the motion smoothness to 120 hertz. I know that's capped at 1080p, but I'd rather have that 120 hertz. I also turn off adaptive brightness because I like to control the brightness of my phone. Um, and then the other thing that I do is my screen on time. I actually make it 10 minutes because a lot of the times I'm showing stuff on my phone for my channel or to people and I don't want the phone to turn off. So that's all the stuff that I really do in the settings. Oh, actually, I also go into the navigation bar. First of all, I flip this and I also go full gestures and I wanna see the full gestures at the bottom. And that way now I can go back and that's what I do. And then also I'll go into settings and I don't know exactly where this is in, but I will go into battery percentage I want to show the battery percentage, click that, shows the battery percentage at the top, and I am back home. So I'm going to right now get into the setup for my Nova Launcher. I like to use Nova Launcher. So I went ahead and already downloaded uh, Nova Launcher. I downloaded KWGT, and I downloaded the two plugins, Andromeda and Aster for KWGT. I'll have all those linked down below in the description. But let's go ahead and start with Nova Launcher. We don't have a backup, so I'll go next. I like dark mode. Go next. I want to swipe up and then I'll go apply and now when I go home it should take me it should take me it didn't but if you go into settings and you go to default apps into the default apps you can go home and make it Nova Launcher and now it put us right into Nova Launcher so Nova Launcher has three different screens that it sets up initially for you so we're just gonna get rid of that also get rid of this one right here and just have one home screen. And then I'm going to take that and just actually go into Nova settings. A Couple of things that I need to do in Nova settings. And that is, I wanna go into the home screen, I wanna go to the dock and completely turn off the dock. Then I wanna go back and go back and I wanna go into gestures. Now, if you don't have the pro version, you won't be able to change these gestures. So you may just wanna keep the settings as is. But for me, I like to make uh, swipe down to be notification and I like swiping up to be the app drawer and then double tapping to be Nova settings. So now when I go home, I can get rid of this guy if it will click for me. And if I need to go into the settings, I just double tap and it takes me right to the settings. So that is what I like to do. Now quickly, let's go to the Play Store and download the icon packs that I like to use, which are going to be the Minma icon packs. So there's the Minma. We're gonna install the Minma icon packs. I love these icon packs, very clean and very nice and colorful. And then the wallpaper app um, I want to use, I believe it's called AMOLED Wallpapers. I'm not exactly sure, but um, yeah, I think it's this one right here, AMOLED Picks. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that in the description. Everything that I talk about in this video, I will put down below in the description so that you guys can get to it real quick. But now that everything is finished, let's swipe up and let's find that wallpaper. And the wallpaper that I like to use in here is called Neon, or that's usually what I search for. So now that it went in and it got all the permissions and it loaded up, I will click search. Neon, if I could spell right, Neon, search. 
and this is what I've been rocking recently. I think you guys may have seen it in the video of my Galaxy S10 uh, one year later video, but this is the one right there. I'll click set lock and home screen and i will uh provide this actual wallpaper down below in the description go home that's what it looks like and then after that we double click here go into the look and feel go to the styles go to the apps and we want to find the minma i don't know if minma downloaded or not but let's go back to the play store and let's search for that minma again it installed don't know why it's not showing up but it's showing up here. Apply icon pack to Nova Launcher. Click OK. And it should have applied. Yep, that's what the icon packs look like. And then you can just move a bunch of different icons to the home screen and set up your widgets. So let's start with the two widgets, the top and the bottom. So we'll go into widgets, go to KWGT, drag a one by one up there. Um, click allow, click create, long press, and I'm going to resize it to what I want. That's usually what I want. If I click on it, we'll go into KWGT. Since it's the first time on this phone, it's going to ask, do you want to accept and allow and all that? So for the top widget, it's the Oster for KWGT. Let me find the exact one that I'm using. Okay, so that took a minute, but I finally found it. It's number 32. Click on it, click OK, click OK, click Save, see how it looks. It's like that. I'd like to make it a little bit bigger. So I will go into Layers and just increase the size. Click Save, click Home. That's a little too big. So this is honestly all just like playing around and seeing what you like. So that's pretty good. Maybe move it up a little right there. So that's how I like to fit the top one. And then we'll go ahead and find the bottom one. But before we do, I actually want to hide these navigation buttons at the bottom. So we can go back into settings here, search, and just type in the search here, navigation. And then it says, do you want a transparent navigation bar? And it'll show you where it is. And Okay, so now we are going to set up the second widget at the bottom and I will press and hold, go to widget, swipe up and find KWGT, um, drag it down there and then I'm going to resize it to exactly what I want and then go into there and I believe this time it's in the Andromeda for KWGT. Once again, I'll have that linked down below in the description and let's find the exact one that I used for down there. Okay, so it's number 34, and if we click on it, it shows up. I will click save, swipe home, and that's what it looks like. So real quick, I'm gonna just put some apps on the home screen and show you guys exactly how I set up my apps. Okay, so this essentially is the setup. I don't have all my apps in there because I haven't downloaded all my apps and they look kind of big. Um, but basically you just put as many apps as you want on the home screen, create folders. You could go back into the settings and actually go to the home screen, go to the icon size and you know make them smaller, make it bigger. I like to keep them around 90 or 100% and then that way they go a little bit smaller and they look much, much better in the the whole scheme of the setup but essentially that is what i do for my home screen and i will have like i said everything in the setup down below in the description if you guys have any questions then definitely let me know also another tweak that you could do real quick is if you go back into the nova launcher settings you can go back to the home screen go to the grid size and actually make it a different size grid so that when you click done you can go home then that way you'll have to resize the um, widgets but overall you can um, include more let me slide that a little over but you can click there and it was just a little too big so i can just make it a little bit smaller so that it fits perfectly in there and then now i can go ahead and put more with um more icons on the home screen three four 
to whatever that I want. But essentially, this is what the setup looks like. And this is what I do to my Galaxy S20 or basically any new phone. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, then let me know in the comment section down below. Once again, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you get notified when I do my initial impressions on this video. I also actually do have the Galaxy Buds Plus and I will be doing a review on those. So there's a lot of Samsung content and a lot of other normal content that I do throughout the month coming to the channel. So it's subscribe. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, stay plugged.